Greetings, welcome back to Random Tronic. My name is Chris and today I will be continuing my attempts with the pantograph here to make another PCB, rather make the same PCB differently. So today I will be doing what seems I should have done as a first attempt and I will be using a edge resist marker pen to trace out all the tracks from the template using the pantograph onto the PCB. The marker pen that I will be using is a Stedler Lumicolor. I have also made a new tool holder. This is my second tool holder and the way this works I will be able to slide the pen in and it only goes cert in certain amount. It's being held by this clamp. This will limit to how far back down it can go. I've got simple rubber band to push it down so I don't have to worry about absolutely critically setting up the level of the table. I'm going to have a millimeter maybe or so of play over here. So when I drop the pantograph, the pen will be applying constant pressure. So here it is set up. I've already adjusted the height so it's just right. I've tucked the board down with just a little bit of sticky tape. That's the advantage of this method because there isn't going to be much force applied to the PCB, so it won't move really much. Let's begin. Okay, I rushed a little bit over here and I've connected to truck. So I'm going to remove those, redo it again. And then I have to connect all the grounds as well. I've got some board space left um, here in the corner. And you can see this is, yeah, I can get a little bit creative. I'll show you the board a little bit closer in a moment. But I don't need to do trucks in a straight line like you would normally. I can also do something like this. And I think that should be done. Here is the board close up. And yeah, you can see I've tried to do some squiggles for no apparent reason, just to see how can I, how could I freehand it. And I've tried to put a little small lettering. It's barely readable. It says random tronic on there. I hope you can read it. Uh, but I'm more interested in how this will turn out after etchings. And here is a bag with ferric chloride. Let's pop our board in the bag. I've raised the temperature of the ferric chloride by giving it a 10 minute bath in hot tap water. A really nice thing about this etch in a bag solution is that you can have a look at the board as it is etching. Over here, it already started eating off the copper completely. Okay, here is some progress about five minutes in. And you can see that the copper is slowly beginning to disappear from most parts of the board. Still a little bit left, but it's going rather quickly. And here is the progress about six, seven minutes in. Most of the copper has been eaten out. There is just literally a uh, last few bits here and there. There is a little bit here. Over here looks clean. Clean and even that looks clean right now. So let's try to get the board. Oh, come on, move. Let's get the board to this side and close it off. And this is how it turned out. So. I'm a little bit close over here, but there isn't a short, definitely. There is definitely a gap in between the tracks. And I lost one track over here. Now, when I was drawing the tracks on here, on the pantograph, I've noticed over here that it didn't... You can see that even on the video, I had to go back and touch up this track because in this corner, the pen was barely touching. So I should have repeated this track as well uh, with a little bit more downforce. Next time I'll have to remember to give a little bit more travel to the pen. But that's okay, this can be fixed at the board. Let's give it some tin coating. And the tin coat seems to be done. And here it is, finished board. 
as I said we've lost one truck in this corner over here but uh, the rest of it seems to be okay however I'm not too happy with this uh, just yet uh, conclusion work in progress I need to make some adjustments and see if maybe a different marker maybe just a little bit more pressure and this one will do because some of the trucks turned out really nice like for example this truck here is very nice and smooth those here this one here but uh, yeah this one's a little bit off those turned out okay but here we've completely lost the truck so I'm not too sure maybe this uh, by the way this PC this piece of PCB was that's the same one that I've rescued from the previous experiment where it started being etched and I've pulled it out so that can have something to do with it because a portion of the board has been eaten away but for this video I think that's going to be it thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this little process of PCB making DIY style please do subscribe for more random electronics related stuff for the time being take care